All right. So, week number or protocol number four. Here's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, this was uh, this last one that we did was fairly intense for you. Um, that that being said, one of the primary reasons that we have seen training mask work so well, and I do a lot of hypoxic training right now too, not just with the mask but underwater. Okay, so I'll do swimming sets that are hypoxic. I'll also do underwater sets, work that's underwater. But one of the th main things that we learn in doing this underwater stuff is becoming efficient at something. And so the breathing mechanics actually become very, very important. And if you haven't picked up on it, um, maybe when you were doing the three minute recoveries two weeks prior, or maybe you did notice here in the two minutes that the sooner you actually took in a very deep breath through your nose and exhaled through your mouth, you started to relax a little bit more, okay? So this is the goal of the breathing, okay? Of the breathing mechanics is to actually take in a nice deep breath via the nose and then exhale through the mouth. What this is really teaching us to do when we're at, when we're, when we're requiring a vast amount of oxygen to recover is that you're actually, and you're restricting that, is that you're actually using, forcing that diaphragm to really work, which is also a really important thing about being in a good position. And you can look at a lot of other stuff I've done with running and cycling and swimming and all that stuff for being in better positions, but when you're out of position, you're not in a good place to use that diaphragm. But thankfully with the training mask, we're learning to use that diaphragm a whole lot more. And so this is where we get those deeper breaths that allow us to absorb the oxygen more. So with this week, what we're going to do is we're going to up our warm up from anywhere from 10 to 15 times 2040. The training mask is on again during this warm up phase. This is a respiratory warm up. So it starts off easy, gets harder. Okay, we're halving the wattage or halving the effort of the 20 seconds with the 40 seconds. Going back down below, we are going to go to probably one of the toughest workouts that I know of, which is six by one minute on, one minute off. Now, typically we don't, we don't use the training mask for this workout because what we're requiring here is an all out effort. That one minute is an all out effort. And that one minute is off, okay? But for this workout, what we're gonna be doing is it's not an all out because you're not gonna be able to go all out after about two or three of them because we're gonna utilize the training mats in this one minute protocol, okay? So we're gonna go six minute, six by one minute's really hard. Then we're gonna go one minute really easy or off but with the training mask on, okay? This is going to be a lot worse than last week because you're not actually going to have two minutes like the following two weeks prior to that where you had the three minutes off, okay? So the one minute, in it, the, the, the lowering of the recovery phase is actually making this much more difficult and you should start to see these big, big changes starting to occur after about two weeks of utilizing these protocols, okay? So have fun with that one.